Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi. In today's video, I'll be reviewing 20 of most searched fragrances on YouTube in the last three months. I will try my best to keep it as brief as possible. Without any further ado, I want to start by House of Jean-Paul Gaultier at number 20. Le Mal Le Parfum. It is a vegetal, herbal and sweet type of fragrance with touch of floral powdery iris note at the top. It has a very memorable signature scent type of character and alpha male type of scent profile. Atmosphere of fragrances, sweet and thick at the base because of tanka. Performance is very good. At number 19 from House of Paco Rabanne, Invictus Victory, a totally different fragrance and scent DNA compared to other Invictus versions. It needless to say that Invictus and other flankers are aquatic, but here we have nothing to do with that DNA. It is totally different sort of fragrance. Here we have a gourmandish type of woody, thick, sweet scent. If you are into those type of chocolatey, somehow gourmand, edible, woody fragrances, semi-gourmand fragrances, this one is definitely a must try or must have for you. Performance is good. Projection and CIG is somehow not as good as longevity on this one. At number 18 from House of Versace or Versace, Dylan Blue. One of those old and round type of fragrances. It is a semi fresh fragrance because it is like 30% fresh, aquatic or shower jelly, somehow citrusy and 70% earthy, woody and incensey, especially at the dry down. Although it has been reformulated, but I believe it is still full bottle worthy and one of those must have fragrances in any man collection, especially gets very crazy compliments in spring and summer. Performance is good, projection and CRGs great at number 17 from house of sergeoff erba pura nothing to do with this bottle it is nothing bluish greenish here it is like fruit bomb fruit cocktail very fruity happy sweet loud strong and tiny powdery especially at the dry down it doesn't smell to my nose that much niche let's say it is very designery and somehow i want to be honest with you cheap it is very synthetic Synthetically powerful and not that much natural to my nose. Performance is great, like easily 14, 16 hours plus. On the skin with two to three hours, nuclear projection and CH. At number 16 from House of Giorgio Armani, one of those 10 out of 10 fragrances for me, Aquadigio Profumo. Smells just amazing. Aquatic, tiny at the background. It is herbal, I can get herbal vegetal notes tiny floral a little bit like drops of sweetness at the background incensey and a little again woody at the dry down it has a very manly masculine modern type of incensey note it is a little bit mature has age factor to it like 25 plus type of fragrance and performance is great still lasts on me hours and hours at number 15 from house of amouage or amouage interludeman it is one of the most daring, dirty fragrances in my collection. Smells strong, not for everybody, definitely not a blind by worthy fragrance. I get a blast of black pepper. It is burnt, real smoke is here like burning wood. Very dry, very bossy and mysterious, deep resiny, tiny waxy and bitter. But at the same time, I can get tiny of sweetness at the background like a spicy type of sweetness like vanilla let's say it is very dark during and mysterious type of scent about performance just i have to say lasts forever on your skin and projection and siage is bomb nitroglycerin for like five six hours at number 14 again from house of george armani armani code absolute a great flanker of regular code but to my nose it smells like 90% different compared to that fragrance. Again, I can get irisy, powdery notes at the top of the fragrance. It is sweet, generous amount of sweetness is going on here. I can get some sort of transparent, polite, soft, leathery or suede vibe at the background of the fragrance and tobacco for whatever reason. Base of the fragrance is very solid, concentrated and syrupy thick because of tanka and tiny woody performance is great could have been better like a beast mode fragrance because it has that potential but it is not only good like seven to eight hours plus in terms of longevity on the skin with two to three hours good projection and yes at number 13 
a top five best aquatic fragrances in my opinion right now in the market from house of Rezosi. However, it smells very loud on the steroid and strong scent profile is fruity because of apple plum and aquatic very fresh extremely sweet and tiny spicy like cardamom type of spiciness is going on there performance is great like over 12 hours plus in terms of longevity with two to three hours very loud and musky type of uh, projection and siege at number 12 from house of versace again versace rose edt and edp most search fragrances in the youtube let's say and they want to know what is differences between these fragrances i have to say dna is same here like 95 percent 90 percent same like minty appley woody and sweet vanilla type of dna but in the edp we have more of citrusy notes which is not available in the edt version so this one leans more citrusy let's say but the other notes are almost same and identical in terms of performance edp is better right now compared to newer batches of edt like eight hours plus seven hours plus i can get in terms of longevity with two hours of good projection and siage but with most of newer batches of edt i cannot get more than three hours let's say at number 11 from house of let's alpha najdia for 15 bucks maximum 20 bucks and also it has a little deodorant in the presentation like 50 ml 35 ml i don't know i don't remember with one deodorant 15 bucks this is nothing nothing this is one of the best fragrances in this price tag let's say it smells very inviting very mass appealing aquatic fruity and green actually it is very close to resasi havas but leans more mature let's say and we have more of green notes here which is not that much available in the resources however performance is good projection and siege is as well and i prefer it for spring and summer now we are at top 10 if you find value in this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe and remember to support me by your likes i really appreciate that thank you for searching this one at number 10 versace oud noir one of my absolute favorite designer fragrances and my most favorite fragrance from house of versace Oh, my goodness blows me away. Such a deep, mysterious, bossy, manly, dark fragrance. The only issue is performance. Not there. It is like below average for me, to be honest, like three, four hours maximum. Or let's say three hours maximum on the skin with first hour of below average projection and siage. But scent profile is out of his world for me. Somehow reminds me of Tom Ford. Oud wood i can say it is inspired by that fragrance but still i like this one better compared to tom ford's Oud wood at number nine again from house of amouage my love reflection man oh i want to cry got me ton of solid unsolicited crazy compliments from totally 100 percent strangers this is one of the best floral fragrances ever created for men again these are only my opinions my experiences i can say to this scent profile powdery herbal floral i can get ton of floral and vegetal notes in this fragrance but not green for whatever reason it smells like fresh wood fresh branch of trees like that type of greenness going on here it is powdery and atmosphere is very sexy and oriental performance is good backup bottle worthy fragrance from house of amouage and the effect of this one on ladies is crazy at number eight one of the best takes on Aventus dna in my opinion from house of mansera cetrot boise it is a very strong fresh citrusy fragrance very happy juicy sweet creamy i can get leather and right now a very sharp patchouli note I can get at the background which gives the fragrance a mysterious earthy vibe especially at the dry down performance is great mine is older batch like 16 or 17 if i'm not mistaken lasts only like 14 hours plus with two to three hours very great projection and siege at number seven again from house of Rasasi, Dorage. i said in several videos that this one is my most complimented fragrance cheap fragrance let's say after arm of club the new intense man i believe it is enough praise for this fragrance although it is a compliment monster but 
it is not a blind by worthy fragrance because it is too spicy sweet and oriental plus floral notes not for everybody but in the air smells great for 15 bucks i would try it it is not a big risk 15 bucks for 100 ml and this sexy dna it's up to you at number six stronger with you absolutely from emporia armani one of the longest lasting designer fragrances in my collection just sticks to your skin and it stays there for hours and hours like 14 16 hours let's say look at color of the juice very concentrated sweet tiny boozy nutty has a little bit of very wearable type of polite smokiness at the background of the fragrance so it is woody and sweet in terms of scent profile performances as i said great like beast mode 14 16 hours plus in terms of longevity and projection and siege is loud for first two to three hours at number five from house of sergeov one of the best sellers from this house Nuxus in forward if i have to describe this one i would say beast mode expensive complex and inspired beast mode expensive complex inspired yes it is a great description for this one smells like herbal lavender tobacco woody i can get ton of sweet notes like vanilla and honey honey is very syrupy here and strong fragrance is crazy in terms of performance as i said it is like 12 14 hours plus a beast mode fragrance three four hours loud projection of siage some says it is a soft fragrance it doesn't perform at all i have no idea about your experiences my experience with this one is very different at number four from house of dior dior sauvage elixir another solid release from this house it is very strong herbal woody sweet resiny uh, with a great licorice note and some sort of oody note is available there or let's say oud nuance it is not that much clear because it gives to fragrance a dark mysterious deep accent I highly recommend grab a bottle before any reformulations. House of Dior is famous in terms of reformulating great jobs. Right now, current batches, current formulations are beast mode, like 12, 14 hours plus with two to three hours crazy projection and siege. It's up to you. At number three, another great cheapy, Nautica Voyage, the regular one, not my cup of tea. To be honest, I prefer Nautica Voyage N83 over this one or if you want this genre cheap fragrance, I prefer Missoni way better, but still this one is cheaper. Uh, but for me, it is too floral, especially at the dry down. It smells like aquatic, cucumbery, and floral unisex. And some sort of herbal notes at the background of the fragrance. Tiny, woody, I have to say. Performance is average on my skin, like five to six hours, with first hour, hour and a half maximum. Again, average projection and CS, just the only issue is for me. It gets too floral at the dry down on my skin, and I don't like that cucumberish vibe of this fragrance. At number two, it's just crazy. I was expecting something like Layton by Parfums de Mali, at least Carlyle, Red Tobacco, Creed Aventus, Silver Mountain Water, Woodwood, Tuscan Leather, something like that. But no, you search this one. Gentlemen Reserve Privé from House of Givenchy. <laughs> it is a good fragrance but i don't need it you know mm, i have so much like uh, powdery lipsticky in this genre of fragrances start from zara number no. nine valentino umo intense Givenchy gentleman edp from house of prada there is lots of fragrances in my collection this genre but it is not a bad fragrance for me it is too redundant just another lipsticky Dior Homme inspired fragrance. Some says it is boozy. It has a very great whiskey note. To be honest, I cannot get any boozy whiskey-ish note from this fragrance. I can get from Gentleman EDP a boozy vibe, but in this one, no, I cannot get it. Performance is good, scent profile is sexy, dressed up, not a bad fragrance. For me, it is too redundant. At number one, another unexpected name let's say fragrance which got me ton of views in last three months because it is one of the most searched fragrances on the youtube it's very crazy i was not expecting again this name stronger with you again but intensely version very close to absolutely version i have to say these are redundant to each other 
but this one is more pronounced it is more spicy it has not that boozy vibe again burnt woody vibe is same identical that nutty vibe is identical S amount of sweetness is identical just this one is more pronounced and louder in terms of spicy notes performance is as great as the other versions not the regular one i mean the absolutely uh, like 12 14 hours plus also on the skin with two to three hours solid projection surge and great complementing factor but i can get somehow better compliments with the uh, absolutely version take care guys